God speaks to your spirit and in your mind. Come on, somebody. You got to amen, know that God's going to bring it to pass. Come on, son. Somebody say amen. 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 I don't mean to be up here. This, this is getting very good to me. Praise God. Hallelujah. Trust in the Lord. Do good. So trust. Don't be fretful in what God is trying to do. Don't get upset. Upset with your children because they don't call you. Because they don't spend time with you. They got grown old now. They, don't, they forgot about mom and dad. Oh, they're all right. You know, they, they don't even call no more. Don't think about you. No matter what the situation may have been, don't even want to be bothered with you. Know, you know, they're old now. We can let them go. No. Jesus. The Bible says, honor your mother and your father that your days will be upon the, that your days will be long upon the earth. Mm-hmm. Amen. I don't care if the man's a rusty nickel. He's still your daddy. I don't care if she's a rusty nickel. She's still your mom. Come on, somebody. You got to understand. You, the Bible says you got to honor them. I don't care if they talk to you like you talk to you rough. You got to, amen, honor them. I honor my mother. Amen. She's older than I am, way older than I am. She's 80 some years old. I still honor my mother. I call her. Amen. I call her. Talk to her. Make sure she's all right. Come on, somebody. That's why you got to, when you honor them, God blesses you when you honor your people. You do what the Bible says. Honor them. Uphold them. Encourage them. Amen. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. If you don't have your parents anymore, praise God, all you can do is just remember the things that they taught you and hold that up and honor that. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. I, my father and my stepfather is no more around me. But I honor the things that I was taught through them. Mm-hmm. Come on, somebody. Uncles, aunts, grandmother, grandfather. I See, when I was a little lad, my people called me all the time. They called me. My, my grandfather called me. My, my grandmother called me. My uncle would call me. I'm like trying to go out and have fun. I, I, they called me. I'm going to share a story with you back in 19 something. I'm like, I'm not here for that. I'm thinking you want me to go to the store. I'm like, I'm going to, uh, I got to go. I'm, no, no, no. I had to, you know, the Lord. When they said the Lord, see, I got to take. I said, okay, I'll be still. I hear the Lord. I wasn't saved at that time. But see, God was getting my attention. You see, because I could have been out there in jail somewhere. I could have been doing something wrong, and, and, and by him calling me, that saved my life. Mm-hmm. Come on, somebody. Sometimes the Bible says all things work together for the good of them who are called according to what? His purpose. His purpose. Yeah. All things work together. God, you, 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 got to, you, got to, you got to come on. You got to come on. You got to come on. Mm-hmm. Don't fret. Yourself because of how things are going. Amen. Just trust. Just know it's going to be all right. You may not have, you may not even go to church, but you got some powerful faith. Amen. Everybody that has powerful faith, everybody don't go to church, you know. Mm-hmm. Come on, somebody. They, they believe God when things are rough and tough. May, mainly if they have a church background. I don't care if they're Catholic, mother, uh, whoever they may be, believe, but they believe in God. They believe God. Come on, somebody. Strong faith. Come on, somebody. What the Bible says, now faith yeah, is the subject of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You believe it. You believe it's going to come to pass. But now, remember, amen, you can't, you can't say things or do things that's going to be harmful unto other people. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You can't do things that are going to be harmful to other people. Mainly, we that are children of God, we have to watch what we say. We can't, because we, we can't say everything. Because, see, the Bible says we have life. What is it called? Again? Life and death. We have life, death, and power in the tongue. That's why we got to speak the life to people that we come in contact with. Because we want to see them live. Amen. Because the only Jesus that they may see is you at that moment. Those that are seeking God. They, 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 they may not have time enough. Amen. To go and see the pastor. 
You will have to be the pastor of a church that you belong. That's why it is so important to have faith in God for yourself. Amen. Know the word for yourself. The Bible says, study to show thyself approved. 2 Timothy 2.15, study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Come on, somebody. Got to, you, got to, you, got to, you got to study the word. In order to have the word, you got to study the word. Get the word in you. Let the word be in you. Get the word in that abosha. Get the word inside of your soul and in your spirit. Amen. Fret not yourself tonight. Fret not. God is telling us not to fret ourselves over anything that may be troubling you. You may have lost a loved one. Your loved one don't want you upset, crying, boohooing, because they're gone. They want you to rejoice. Rejoice, the Bible says. Because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Only one that wants you to be upset and crying and wailing is the enemy of your soul. And all you're doing is bringing yourself down. You got to lift yourself up. Amen. Like I did. I had to lift myself up. Lost my brothers. My brother. Praise the Lord. Amen. I had to amen, encourage myself. Amen. And keep myself going on in the name of the Lord. Amen. But we got to learn how to encourage ourselves in the Lord. So, amen. If you have a situation you're dealing with in your life, just know that God is with you. Just keep the faith. Keep the, keep the faith of God always elevated. Keep the faith of God elevated in your mind. Trust God. Shabba. Trust him. Don't give up. Don't say, well, you know, I tried as I tried. To, and, you know, no, keep trying, Jesus. You know, you know about God. You know what, what mama taught you about Jesus. Said if you call on the name of the Lord, you shall be saved. Call on Jesus. You know how to call on the Lord. So just call him up. Amen. In your time that you you crying, said he crying, call on Jesus. Said if you upset, call on Jesus. Say, wait a minute, hold up here. Wait a minute. I, I ain't upset. Uh, I'm going to talk to the King of Kings right now. Look, I ain't look, I don't have time to hear your your story. I'm gonna to talk to the king of kings. Now who, who the king of kings? The king of glory. He shall come in and set my mind free. He shall come in and deliver me. The king of glory. I'm talking about Jesus Christ. Amen. The one that is able, amen, to keep you in perfect peace. If you keep your mind stayed on him. He'll he'll keep your mind in perfect peace. You just gotta know it. Amen. You just got to know it. Know that the Lord is able to do it. You got to know that God is able to do it for you. You got to know that. Practice it. Amen. Practice it. Now faith cometh by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. I got to keep the word in my heart. I got to know that God is with me. I got to know that God's going to do this thing today. Amen. I got to go pay this bill. I got to go in this certain room. I got to go here. I got to go there. God is going to be, say, Lord, go before me today. I take you with me, Lord. Go before me. And God will go before you. Why? Because you're trusting and you're leaning and you're depending upon God like the prophets did. When the prophets had to go out and minister to the people, they said, Lord, go before me. Prepare the way, O oh God. For thy knoweth what I need to say unto thy people, O oh God. Talk to God. Talk to the master. Let him know that you that you very, 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 very holding on to his word, to what he said unto you. Knowing that all, all you all, he is your all in all. See, God is our all in all. Amen. He's my, I don't know about you, but he's my all in all. I take God everywhere I go. And I want you to take God everywhere you go today. Take him with you. Amen. You ain't got to say, you know, I'm, I, I put Jesus in my pocket, you know. I put Jesus in my pockets. Amen. I put him in my, I, I take God with me. I know my head with all. I take him with me. I take God everywhere I go. Over to God. Because see, when you when you take God with you, you got protection. Amen. When you take God with you, you got the attach, the protection that you need in your life. Most somebody. 
Don't fret yourself. Fret not thyself because. Whatever that because is, don't fret yourself about it. Know, know that the Lord have you and have full control in your life. Remember that. Remember that God has full control in your life. You got to keep the, ask God, if you're worried and upset, ask God to give you peace right now. Ask God to give you the peace, right? Lord, give me peace about so-and-so tonight that I can rest in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Look to God tonight. Look to God tonight. We must look to the Lord Jesus the Christ because it is he that has made us and not we ourselves, we may say our daddy and our mama made us, but who made your mama and your daddy? Their parents. But God, from the beginning of eons of time, God made us all into his image. We're made in the image of God. We, what we do in our lives is a praise back to God. So make sure you praise him, no matter what it, it may be or how it may come out to be. Because you're going to learn how to delight yourself. I like that scripture. Delight thyself in the Lord. Delight thyself also in the Lord. And he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him. And he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light. And thy judgment as a new day. Rest in the Lord. And wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prosper in his way. Because the man that brings wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger. Amen. Cease from anger tonight, y'all. Cease from anger tonight. And forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. Don't do well for well because they hurt you. Amen. They may have hurt you. Amen. Put you down. Hurt you real bad. Amen. Mentally, physically. Don't allow. The Bible said don't get evil with them. The word of God said vengeance is mine. I will repay. Amen. It may hurt right now. Maybe they don't come over no more. Maybe they don't. Maybe they stop calling you. That's all right. That, that gives you time to call on Jesus. Amen. It gives you the time to, to stretch out in Jesus. This, sometime in life things go that way because you don't need to, to have that individual in your life right now. Mm -hmm. Amen. The individual you need to have in your life is Jesus Christ mm -hmm. because you need a deeper walk and a deeper understanding of God. You see, before they were, they, they were uh, feeding you a lot of garbage anyway. They were feeding you garbage. They wasn't feeding you, they was feeding you garbage. They wasn't feeding you spiritual food. You thought it was spiritual, but it was garbage. Because now you understand, they're no more in your life. They're no more in your face. They're no more a part of you. And now you feel abandoned, but you don't need to feel abandoned. Because you, you now, God can take full control of your life and show you the realness of his power. Not the fake stuff. Not the fleshy stuff, but the spirituality, the spirit part of your life. A lot of, uh, amen, sometimes things happen like that for a reason. That's why when God separates people out of your life, don't worry about it. See, God's going to bring somebody else. And that person going to, amen, going to encourage you. But that person is only going to come for a season. Amen, to encourage you to get back on track. And then you, you have to learn, you have to know when to let go. Some of, you, some of you don't know how to let go uh, when God is trying to move somebody else out and bring somebody else in. Come on, somebody. You got to let them go so God can make a way out of nowhere for you through another avenue. Come on, somebody. See, sometimes we, we have to walk alone. Amen. Well, you know, well, sometimes you have to walk alone and not be a part of the party. Amen. Not a part of the party tonight. Amen. So when God separate us, it's for a reason. It's for a reason because he's doing, he's getting ready to do something in your life. So be faithful. Be faithful. Go back to church. Amen. You probably uh, messed up or uh, made a bad decision to leave the church and now you're in a bad fix. Go back to church. Amen. Take that person with you back to church and see how long that relationship will last. Take them back to church with you. Amen. Let the pastor talk to both of you. 
amen, and began to counsel you, or whatever the situation may be, then see, amen, get filled with the Holy Ghost. Seek God for the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And then God will be able to bring that thing together like he wants to bring it together. If it's, for, if it's of God, it'll stay of God. If it's not of God, it's not going to be of God. God will bust it up. Come on, somebody. So it's time now, amen, to really seek the face of God. This is the last, listen, look, this is December what? December 26. what? December 26, the last Sunday of the month. My goodness. We're coming into a new year, y'all. My goodness. Amen. 2019, December 26, December 26, 2019. We're coming into a new year, y'all. Amen. Friday night will be highlight night. Mm -hmm. Amen. To get your praise on. Come on, somebody. I glory to God. We're going to have a midnight service here on Friday night, live. Amen. We're going to be alive Friday night. Come on, somebody. We're going to be having a good time in the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, praise God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. I'm about to end the sermon right about now. You that just tuned in, praise God. You have to catch the replay. Amen. Amen. And then catch that part. In Jesus' name. I'm going to turn the mic over to the First Lady at this time. In Jesus' name. God bless you, mother-in-law. Amen. Friends, family members, neighbors. We thank God for all of you. In Jesus' name. I'm going to pray. In the name of Jesus, amen. Uh, thank you for our uh, blessing, amen. Thank you for those that blessed. And thank you for those that, amen, those here the whole year with us, praying, praying hard and feverishly for this ministry as we're praying for you. Every person that come on this uh, broadcast live, we pray for y'all. We put the prayer down in the name of Jesus. We pray for y'all, amen. Now we see you, we don't say that. We, we see the names, we try to call them out and everything. Pray the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to call your names out. I just say who you are, family, amen, friends. Praise God. Thank God for you. I thank God for you. You don't know. I thank God for you. Amen. You are a blessing to me. Amen. Just to see your name on the screen. Praise the name of God. That blesses my soul. Thank you, Jesus. Now I'm going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, I ask you in Jesus' name, Lord, to have your way tonight. Lord, I thank you for the word of God tonight. I thank you for the spirit of the Lord's God. I thank you for moving by your power in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for moving by your power tonight in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you right now. Father, I pray. I pray, Father, in Jesus' name that you touch and heal every home, deliver and set free in every home. In the name of Jesus, God, let it be a blessing. Put a blessing there, oh God. In the name in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank the In Jesus' name, touch, heal, deliver, set free by your power. Save now. Save them, Lord. Deliver them. Bring them out, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, save them. Bring them out, Father. In the name of Jesus, bring them out of whatever situation that there is. Make a way for him, God. Make a way for him. In the name of Jesus, be thy heal in your body, your mind, your soul. In Jesus' name, we thank you, we bless you, and count it done. In Jesus' name, the church say. Amen. In Jesus' name, let the church say. Amen. 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 God bless you. Now you're in the hands of our first lady. Amen. The prophets in the house. In Jesus' name. God bless. Thank you for tuning in again. Stay with that same song. I will choose to believe. I will choose to believe. I believe God. <clears throat> oh, I believe God. What he said he will do. Oh, I believe God, what he said we, he will do. Oh, I will believe God, 
will always come through. I will choose to believe. I believe God. I have to smile when the Lord wants the song to change. The other song I was thinking on while the message was going for. Um, let's see. When I call on God, he will come. Yes, he will come to my rescue. Have you tried him? When I call on God, he will come. Come to my rescue. Any place, any way, any time. When I need a loving friend, he's always with me. He'll be there. Have you tried him? When I need a loving friend, he's always with me. Walk beside me. Any place, any way, any time. Love in my mother-in-law tonight, God, that song. But truly, 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 you if you believe, believe God. You got to show some sign. He you know when you believe, but you're trying to believe, get, get it together, struggle with it. I thank God for giving us a chance to just walk with him, talk with him, be with him, see what he can do. And I'm looking for great things for 2022 in Jesus' name. I, I, I usually am a little... I get a little nervous over the years, but I don't know if it, I don't, it's got to be God. I will say it's 50. I, it's the, this, the Lord. I'm looking for great things. I'm looking for great things to happen in 2022. I don't know what everyone else is going to be doing in 2022. I'm not thinking about what you're doing, but I'm thinking about what God is going to be doing in 2022 in Jesus' name as we get ready to leave out of 2021 in Jesus' name. 2021, I can't okay, talk about, about your life going on, but... Mine wasn't too bad, but um, I just thank God. We're still here in the midst of it all. There has to be a purpose to our life, and I pray we find out that purpose because it's wrapped up in God, but help us to understand and know what our particular purpose is and help us to complete it in Jesus' name. You done went to school. You did all these things, but what did you do for Christ? What, where did your life what, what what did you bring to the table? What did you, did you do with God's way, not your flesh way? Did you do that? And I pray that I continue to do, if not more, in Jesus' name. We, I thank God for the message on tonight. So many things, all different. But we thank God for the message. There's so much God had to say tonight. And um, we, we must remember it as we continue to go forward. Because, you know, we're going to be tested, tried, and all types of things. But... At the end of the day, we must believe God. At the end of the day, we must not fret ourselves because of evil doers. Neither be like enemies against the work of iniquity, because God knows His word said they shall soon be cut down, yes, yes, like Lord. the grass and the wither. As they said, that means that thing going to be cut. It was green, but it's going to get cut, and then it's going to shrivel up. Mm -hmm. Don't let it be you, honey. Don't let it be you. Stay on the Lord's side in Jesus' name. Looking forward to seeing y'all on the, I guess they call it, they call it watch night, but uh, we're just going to just call it service. We're going to have service this week in Jesus' name. And we pray that you know what you're supposed to do specifically and as the year goes forth, as we go out of December into January, that you know specifically what your life is supposed to consist of in God in Jesus' name. We thank you everyone for joining us on tonight. We thank God for just sparing our lives. Because we can take it for granted. No. We thank God for sparing our lives. The C. C2021. And help us as you ushers into 2022. We pray that you speak, Lord, in Jesus' name. Not we got to say. Hear what you got to say. Oh, God. We don't. We don't. But let's be on the Lord's side. So we know what he's talking about. All the way. In Jesus' name. Thank you, everyone, for joining us in Jesus' name. I don't know if there's any more further things to say, but we can just sincerely thank God for sparing us, coming to service, all the services that were on tonight, on today, early today. We pray that we uh, just 
what the, I can hear the, ex, the acceptable year of the Lord. We pray to do everything He asks us to do. You know, we don't want nothing to be, in, be embarrassed on Judgment Day. We don't want to have nothing. No, I wish I could have. No, we pray not. We pray to be ready when He come and do what He tells us to do until that moment. Pray that He sees Himself, sees His reflection on the earth down here. So we see you again in Jesus' name on uh, Facebook, on YouTube. On Facebook, I have another Facebook. I have the, the back. My last name is not a, a S, but a Z. I try to fit fit it a certain way. My husband said, you should have did, 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 did it. I try to fit it in the best way I could. So I have another Facebook to back up what I already have. And just in case this one is not going to, you know, be with me or fail or whatever it's going to do. But until then, I'm going to be working between those two. And then I have over here, we have... Uh, YouTube over here in Jesus name I thank God for having the channel on YouTube I used to not be a person to do this type of stuff but here we are send us now so I hope you got something from today's message in Jesus name and is there any other words that you need to say thank you for joining us we see you later on next to next time Facebook and on YouTube we see y'all soon in Jesus name to bring you that uh, watch night service and you probably catch it after it's been recorded but we'll see you soon hope you enjoyed today's service today thank you youtube